Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to introduce some basic mathematical tools that we use in class 11 and 12 physics. So the first mathematical tool that I'm going to introduce is logarithms. So I'll write here logarithms. So let's try to understand what is this logarithms. Now if I write, suppose that if a to the power x gives you n, suppose okay, a to the power x gives you n, then how do I write this exponential form in terms of logarithms? It's very simple. Then, if I take logarithm or we say log. So if I write, here a to the power x gives you n. So if I write log of this n with base a, then it gives you x. Let us see an example to understand this much better. Example, suppose 2 cube gives you 8. Now let us write this in logarithmic form. Now in, so if I introduce log and if I write, since 2 cube is 8, so if I write log of this number 8 with base 2, then it gives you 3. Now let's see the converse. Converse, let's see the opposite. Let's go in the other way, the converse. Now, if suppose log of b with base a gives you c, then what does that mean? It means, since the base is c, so a to the power c gives you b. So that is how we write in converse order. Just, let's see one example. If log of 125 with base 5 gives you 3, that means... 5 to the power 3 is equal to 125. Now let us see some basic rules that we use in logarithms. The first rule that you will see is some rules in logarithms. Rule number 1 log of 1 of any base say a is equal to 0. Why? How? Because we know that we know that a to the power 0 gives you 1. Any term to the power 0 always gives you 1. So using this condition we get that log of 1 with any base is zero. The second rule log of a with the same base a is equal to one. Now let's see an example or not example like why? Why is it so? Okay, let's see because we know that a to the power one. Any term to the power one it always gives you that term itself. So a to the power 1 is a. So using this condition, we see that log of a with the same base is also equal to 1. Now the third rule. Log of product of two terms m into n. Suppose say with base a. Is also given by log of m 
plus log of n with the same base that is a in both the cases. The fourth one, suppose log of m by n with base a is given by log of m minus log of n with base a in both the cases. The fifth rule, log of m to the power n with base a can be written as n log of m in base a. The sixth rule log of m with base a. Suppose you want to change the base. Here the base is a. You want to make it into b. You want to make it into c. You want to make it into x, y, z, anything. You want to change the base. Then how do we write? Since it's, this is given to be log of m, so here first we write log of m divided by here the base is a. You want to change the base a. So you have to write here another log of that base a. Now, on the other side, in both the numerator and denominator, you can introduce any base that you like, but it should be common. Suppose if I write here base b, then I'm going to write here base b. Now, in integration and differentiation in physics, uh, whenever we introduce log, that logarithm has base e. So we write log of base e. Suppose log of any term say x, log x. But we write the base e. So in integration and differentiation, the logarithms that we use has base e. And log of any term of base e can also be written as ln of x. Log of x, so ln of x. Why ln? Because the base is e. Now, if I write a logarithm of any term, suppose 5, without a base, then it is very clear that the base is 10. So log of 5 means log of 5 with base 10. Okay? And ln of x means log of x with base e. Now let us see some examples on the rules that we have studied. Number one, we know that log of any term with the same base is also equal to 1. Log of 5 with base 5 is equal to 1. Number two, log of 10 suppose with the same base is also equal to 1. Very simple. Now let us look at the third one. Ln of e. Ln of e means ln means log. Ln e means log of e with base e. So log of e with base e is also equal to 1. Okay. Log of any number with the same base is always equal to 1. Number 4, suppose. Suppose you want to find out log of 15. Now you know what is log 3, you know what is log 5, but suppose you don't know what is log 15. So what you can do is, log 15 can be expressed as 5 times 3. Here no base means, log of 15 with no base means, it's very clear that the base is 10. So let's use the product rule, log of m into n means, log of m plus log of n. Now let's see another one. The fifth one, suppose. Suppose log of 5 by 2. 5 by 2 means it's 2.5. Suppose you don't know what is log 2.5. But you know what is log 5, you know what is log 2. So what you can do is log of 5 by 2. Log of m by n means log of m minus log of n. Let's see another one, number six. 
suppose uh, log of 10 to the power 4. Now we know the rule, log of m to the power n can be written as n log of m. So 4 times log of 10. Okay. Now see, logarithm without any base means the base is 10. And we know that log of 10 to the base 10 is 1. Log of any term with the same base will always be equal to 1. So 4 times 1, that's equal to 4. Let's see another one. Log of 5 with base 2. Now see the logarithms that we generally know is of log e, of base e, or of base 10. Now we do not know what is the logarithm of 5 with base 2, and we want to change the base. We want to make it, make the base is 10. So what we can do is, on the other side, since it's log of 5, so we write log of 5, and the, here the base was 2, you want to change the base, so you have to write here log of 2. And you can introduce any basis, okay, a, any command base in the numerator and the denominator. Suppose I want the base to be 10. So I can introduce base 10 here. Number 8, suppose A, ln of B gives you C. ln of B means logarithm of B with base E. Now this can simply be written as ln of b equals to c by a ln of b means log of b with base e that's equal to c by a so log of base e if you transpose it to the other side log of e if you transpose it to the other side it becomes exponential so e to the power c by a so these are some of the few things that we need to know uh, about logarithms uh, which is like very handful in our physics okay in, in both the theory and the practical classes uh, in the next video i'll be bringing up with some more of mathematical tools thank you